The funny thing about Storm Owl Stage is, until I gained the double jump, it was oddly impossible. At least for Zero. Zero's jumps, I, if, I theorize, are shorter than X's, and I can't seem to jump over those turrets consistently. So I had to use the ride armor to jump over the first one, because even if I use the double jump, I'm not going to be able to jump past it. Tried to wait for a good opportunity. It did not present itself. Oh, yep, there we go. We are going to have to take some damage with those cannons. Nope, we're taking a few hits there, but we're almost at the end of this section, so it's nothing. It's no biggie. There we go. All right, section two. This might be the section that, if you're going to complain about the pacifist run, this is where you're going to complain about it. So we go ahead and take out the barrier and take some hits where we need to. It's better to, t uh, to hit the robots than to hit the giant red death beams. But the mini boss is what I'm talking about. I don't consider anything in the boss or mini boss rooms to count against the pacifist run. If you do, you are going to have difficulty with what I'm doing here. I don't... I understand someone's going to get upset. This is the internet. Go ahead and get upset. Let me have it. Tell me that I'm ashamed to the pacifist name. And then show me how you would do it. Stormout's fairly straightforward. His weakness works best on him the closer you are to him, which I know encourages you to take damage, but I mean, we're at full health here. We can take some damage. Also, it's good to balance sometimes just hitting him with the sword and there we go. Hitting him with the sword to wear him down a little bit. All right, one last Maverick. Join us for part nine.